Hi gamers, today we're testing our knowledge on dealing with the pandemic. After all, we're kind of experts in that subject, aren't we? An outbreak has been detected in town and you must stop it. What's the first thing you need to do in order to beat it? Goal number one, go to lab and do some research about the disease. You gotta know your enemy if you want to defeat it, right? And while you wait for the results, you'll accept as many donations as you can and eliminate some infection points around the city. But oh my god, that won't be enough. 10 seconds in real life represents one day in the pandemic. The number of infected people is increasing and you have a very limited budget. How can you control the spread of the disease? That's goal number two. Huh! By exploring the map of the city, I can see some interesting buildings where lots of actions can be taken. Do I ask the citizens to practice social distancing? Or should I recommend the confinement of the whole population? Is it better to invest in upgrading the hospital with more beds? Should I take a loan to the central bank in order to do so? I don't know. Wait, the research about the disease is completed. And information is power, which reminds me I should keep an eye on the fake news. Highlight some evidence-based messages and go back to the lab so I can start with the production of diagnosis tests. Don't you think? Yes, that's it. You see, actions and upgrades are unlocked throughout the game depending on your achievements. Oh, and guess what? Multiplayer option is available so you can play with other people. The first player starts and sends an invitation to the rest of the team. Each one will play in a different city. Will you and your friends be able to cooperate in order to discover a vaccine and vaccinate all the population? Give it a try and see you there. 